What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Went to the local card shop here in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's always good to go to the card shop. I figured this time instead of spending hundreds of dollars on new product and taking a chance to to get something, I figured I'd get some old packs here and some went through a couple of dollar um dollar boxes and half price boxes. That's what's so cool about going to some of these um um local shops this mine's been around for about 35 years his dad opened it up and now <clears throat> anyways so i figured out spend a good little bit today nothing much just on some old packs if you can see old 1990 uh hanger cello pack for two bucks uh we got this um donruss i guess 88 donruss uh quadruple cello pack whatever that is for two bucks um got a big old box of 19 what are these 88s no, these aren't 88s. Look at that. That's what they look like. Look at that. 87s, 88s. Uh, um, big old uh, hobby box. Got it for 15 bucks. These are 89, actually. 89 uh, tops is what the top looks like. A lot of cars for 15 bucks, but like I said, uh, TTM fuel. And then I also picked up these. I wanted to go through these. These were in a dollar box. Um, Fernando Venezuela and Mike Social rookie. I know he signs. I already got one out to him, but I'd love his rookie card signed. Uh, George Brett, that was in the dollar box. I just got that because I like the 85 Donruss. Look at that. All these coming out of the dollar. There's a dollar um, Jim Rice, a Hall of Famer. I was going to get his autograph on this. I think he's only a $5 fee. Um, that's just a relic that I got. Here you go. Nate Oliver on a 1969 Topps card. Jim Gentle as a 19, what is this, 1966 tops, which is pretty cool. These are all signers. I checked on my website, and that was just a neat inception of um, a rookie, uh, Dustin May. I picked that up. David Giosti, who is a signer. I got that relic for two bucks. That's jo Joey Gallo. Uh, Ken Rudolph for the Cubs. Old uh, 1971 card there uh he signs there's dick lines i like these um these i believe this is a 68 1968 and jack aker for the um athletics and then uh, doug raider for houston all these guys signed like i said i picked these up for 50 cents to a dollar a card so that's totally worth it put those to the side i figured we bust up a couple of these like i said there's nothing crazy in here Wade Boggs right on top. Got his autograph. I know he signs. Ted Power signs. Bruce Hurst. Perez. Matthews. There's Paul Molitor. He signs. I believe he's 20 bucks. So I don't know about that. Glenn Davis. Lou Whitaker. Kevin Bass signs. Noak signs. Jimmy Jones. So these are a lot of... Lynn Dykstra signs. I needed this one to sign for him. That's cool. Uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff, guys, for Jeff Reardon signs. There's uh, Elster's Rated Rookie, all through TTM. If you guys don't know what TTM is, if you're not Steve Sachs signs, it's through the mail. You, a lot of times you can um, get some of these websites that will give you uh, Schofield signs, uh, websites to uh, give you the address of these players or the stadiums they're at. And most of them, for the most part, are uh, free signers, you know, talk takes about a dollar, 50 cents a stamp, you know, one to put on the stamp, and the other one, I mean, put on the letter, and the other to, uh, for the return postage, you want to make it as easy as you can for these athletes that are going to give you your autograph, especially for the free ones, um, but they're also on uh, Lazorco signs, Viola signs, already have him, but I would love that card signed, Ozzy Gillian, Eric Bell, Bobby Benilla, not Vanilla. Of course, Snyder signs. That's a great shot of him in his Indians uh, batting helmet. Bank head signs. I got a couple of bank heads. I don't have this one yet, so I believe he signs 88 Donners. I'm going to send him probably three or four to try to sign. Oil Ken Boy does not sign. I'd love, at least I haven't figured it out yet, but I'd love his autograph. There's Dwight Gooden. He's coming up for a private signing coming up soon. Uh, send the Vince Coleman. Fitzgerald's David Steeb signs. Don't have his autograph yet. That's cool. Keith Moreland, Lansford, Vandy, Van, Andy Van Slyke. I believe he's a two to five dollar signing. I believe I might have him on the '89 Fleer, not on here there yet. Sean Dustin. Cool. A lot of good, 
good um, good all stars in here. A couple of Hall of Famers. Some of these uh, Jeff Reed signs. Cool. Gary Carter. Sid Bream. Dollar sign. He just charges a dollar per card. So I don't have that one signed. I'll probably send that out to Mr. Sid Bream. He's a quick return if you guys haven't got Sid Bream yet. And of course, the um, the puzzle pieces. This one was of a Stan the Man musical. And uh, yeah, let's see. Those were those. So that was pretty cool. I'll go through some of those. There's a checklist I can go through and uh, check on my website to see who signs and pull those guys out. So that is always cool for some TTM fuel. Let's go on and bust this 1990 uh, old cello pack. I haven't opened these in forever. And if I wasn't doing TTM, to be honest with you guys, I would not buy this. This is known as junk wax because they overproduce so many of these cards. And I have a lot of this, some of this stuff that I've been sending my TTMs through, but some of these cards I don't. So that's what these are for. But for $2 to get a whole bunch of cards to look through, that's not too shabby. Here's Todd Zeal, Benjamin, Greg Jeffrey signs, Terry Leach, Barry Lyons, Tim Leary. There's a checklist. Gardner, Les Lancaster signs. That's a cool outfit. Man, is it me or does he look like an elf? Oh, sorry. Uh, Craig Block, Dodger stickers. Mike Fitzgerald. I like the sign. These these cars look pretty cool with autographs too. They're like a nice matte background. Uh, ink Sharpie holds well to them. Lenny Dykstra. There's a two different Lenny Dykstra. It's cool. I can add that to uh, the mail there for the coming week. Um, Dennis Powell and baseball quiz from the Dodgers. Let's just ask one more. Okay, let's see. Let's see. In what stadium did 92,706 uh, 92, fans attend the fifth game of the 1959 World Series? Anyone? Anyone? Los Angeles. All right. All right, last one here. Mickey Hatcher. I, I don't know if he signs. I'd love. He might sign. Uh, Tim Burke signs. Brett Saberhagen. I believe he does sign with a fee. Steve Balboni does sign. I do not have him yet. Jay Abbott, the one-handed one or one-handed wonder, Dave Steve again, Dave Parker. There's John Smiley. He does not sign. I checked. That's probably why he's not smiling. Checklist and some stickers. So excellent, some excellent TTM fuel, guys. Thanks for watching us rip that. What do you think? Should we open a couple of these in the hobby? See what we can get out of out of these? Let's do it. We'll open a couple here. Man, all these packs they used to give you. Who wants the gum? Who wants the gum? All right, 1989. We're getting 15 bubblegum cards here. We might even win a trip to the spring training, 1990. <laughs> so usually wherever the gum is, the card has destroyed it. Oh, not too bad. They're not sticking. Let's see who we got here. Danny Cox, Willie Frazier, Clark, Legaro. Dakota, Russ Nixon, Manny Lee, Walt Weiss signs. That's a cool card. Tracy Jones, Charlie O'Brien, and Pulio. We won't bust this whole box, but I think we'll we'll this box, this whole box. But we'll open a few of these just to see kind of these cards and kind of walk down memory lane. Jim Rice, boom! There you go. That's a Hall of Famer, I believe. He signs. Eric King. There's Dante Bichette. Look familiar. Kittle Anderson. Tony Fernandez. Dave Rigetti signs. Snyder. Salazar. Don Nixon. And Mike Flanagan. So, um, I've said before, there's a lot of websites out there for TTMers. Uh, the first, the, basically, the two I use is uh, sportscardsforum.com and uh, I guess it's cards, uh, is it sportscards.net or is it cards.net, I think? I don't get them always, I always get them mixed up. Don Slot, Stan Javier. There's a Mark McGuire. That's a cool card. That actually might be a dollar or two. Not sure he's signing unless you get him on a private signer. But 
We'll open two more packs, guys, to keep this video not so crazy long. I really appreciate you checking this out and getting some ideas with me. Um, like I said, sometimes it's good just to go to the card shop and spend not too much money and open some old cards. Like I said, I'm not doing this to try to find any crazy rookies or any crazy Venando Venezuela money. I'm doing this for my uh, my hobby, my my collecting the autographs, Kurt Ford. Um, you know, a lot more, a lot of cards look better than others with autographs. Some of these non-glossy cards, flat finishes here. This holds autographs really well. All right, last pack here, guys, and then we'll um, call it quits. Jeff Montgomery. There's a Dave Palmer. Record breaker. Who is that? The, for the tribe. Jones. Is that Doug Jones? Yeah, it looks like Doug Jones. He does sign. That's a cool one to have signed. Actually, I'm going to let that one him sign that. There's Wally Joyner signs. He's a fee signer, though. That's Tony Gwynn. I love these, this white background. Looks so cool for for cards, for autographs. Luis Aquino, Aquino, I said Aquino, huh? Uh, Ron Hassey, Mike Stanley, Gary Pettis, I do believe signs. There's Will Clark. Nolan Ryan, I collect that, man. That is two cool looking cards. Jeff Parrott, he signs. And then ended with a Dave Merez. Merez Martinez, gosh. It's hard to read these uh, cards through the camera sometimes. Plays for the Cubs, but he's in the next expo here. Anyways, guys, hit that like, uh, like button. Subscribe if you hadn't. Mmm, gum. Ah, just kidding. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Give me comments. Tell me what you think about it. Johnny out.